These are the top 10 Nike Dunk releases of 2023. So it's finally getting to be that time of year where we start to count down the best sneaker releases of the year. And I know it's only October, but there's so many top 10 lists coming that I wanted to get an early start. And when it comes to shoes like the Nike Dunk, even though there's still like three months left in the year, we already pretty much know what's releasing throughout the rest of the year. And in my opinion, the best releases have already happened. I mean, hey, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. It's possible Nike drops a surprise, insane release on us, but there's no way to know for sure. But in my opinion, we've already had the best Nike Dunk releases of the year. And I'm actually holding one of those those pairs right now and the crazy thing is you can actually win this pair for yourself which of course means I've got to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video whatnot who made this giveaway possible so if you guys want to win one of these two pairs for yourself all you need to do is click that link at the top of the description below sign up for whatnot using that link and you get ten dollars towards your first purchase but most importantly make sure to bookmark my upcoming live stream where I give both of these pairs away for absolutely free and for those of you that have never heard of whatnot or signed up for whatnot before you're definitely missing out whatnot is a live auction shopping platform with sneaker auctions 24 hours a day starting at just one dollar and not only am i giving away two pairs of born and raised nike sb dunks to you guys i'm also selling some of the sneakers from my own personal collection i'm selling a lot this time because i'm really trying to cut down on the collection which means there are a lot of pairs from my collection that i hadn't listed before that i'm finally getting to listing mainly because I'm finally willing to let them go. It's tough, but I have to let them go. But the main reason that I love Whatnot is not just the fact that you get to see a full 360 degree view of whatever it is that you're buying, or even ask questions of the seller right then and there live. It's actually the community that's on Whatnot. There are a bunch of like-minded people, sneakerheads just like you and me, who also like other things like you and me. For example, for me, it's retro video games. And I mean, even if you're not buying and selling, you can just hang out in the live stream and have a good time. It's always a blast and it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't yet. So again, if you wanna check out my upcoming live stream and hang out with me for a couple hours on Friday night, Night, make sure to click the link in the top of the description below sign up for whatnot using that link and again get ten dollars towards your first purchase which you can use on sneakers in my live stream not only that if you're there live you have a chance to win one of these two pairs for yourself which I think is a pretty great opportunity so it's definitely worth checking out but with all that being said huge thank you to whatnot for sponsoring today's video now let's dive into the list number 10 the Nike dunk low red panda the colorway of this shoe draws inspiration from the red pandas found in the East Himalayan region and although the name of this colorway is similar to that of the ubiquitous panda dunks this shoe is completely different than that shoe. The upper of the shoe is covered in a hairy dark brown suede to symbolize the fur of the red panda. In addition to that, you've got some creamy tan colored overlays accented by some red suede overlays on the heel, and then this really interesting black and white pattern on the tongue. But my favorite detail is actually the dark brown midsole of the sneaker. Well, not the midsole itself, but the way that it contrasts the upper of the shoe. It's just got this whole like chocolatey fall vibe to it, which I'm really into, and this is definitely a sneaker that I'm planning to pick up when it finally releases. In fact, this is actually the only shoe on today's list that has not yet released at least at the time of filming this video. And again, even though this shoe is called a panda, it's nothing like the other panda. The colorway of this sneaker, the materials of this sneaker, everything about this shoe is 10 times better in my opinion. I have no problems with that shoe. It's a black and white dunk. It looks very clean. I think people are just sick of seeing it, which is a dumb reason not to like a pair of shoes, in my opinion. The red panda dunks are just a super clean, super wearable, very fall vibe that I think a lot of people are gonna be into. And it's definitely gonna be one of the more popular non-collab dunk releases of the year. Number nine, the Nike SB Dunk Low Albino and Preto. So AP is well known in the jiu-jitsu world for creating modern takes on classic kimonos. And this Nike SB Dunk Low collaboration is designed to show off their unique aesthetics and commitment to culture. One of the coolest things about this collaboration is actually the materials. The upper of the shoe is made up of heavy gauge canvas to emulate the materials that they use on their geese. The black Nike swoosh on the lateral side of the sneaker is meant to represent a black belt, and when you actually start to pull back some of the materials on the upper panels of the shoe, you notice that there's a lot of vibrant colors underneath. And what I didn't realize until recently is that those other colors are meant to represent the other belts in the belt system, and also to represent the time that it takes to perfect both BJJ and skateboarding. Not only that, but they also give you a bunch of different lace options inside the box. So say if you cut off a panel of the shoe and there's red underneath, and you want to match a red set of laces to that red, they give you the options to do that. At first glance, this shoe is not that exciting, but when you dig a little bit deeper, both metaphorically and literally, you start to learn that there's a lot of really cool stuff hiding underneath the surface. Definitely an underrated dunk in my opinion, and I was one of the people that underrated this dunk at first, and now, I kinda wish I had bought one when I had the chance. Number eight, the Nike SB Dunk Low Crenshaw Skate Club. Tobias McIntosh founded Crenshaw Skate Club when he was only 14 years old by creating a t-shirt to show his love of his neighborhood. And years later, Crenshaw Skate Club is a force in the skateboarding community, and this shoe is designed to represent all of that. The upper of the shoe comes in light tan colored suede, accented by green and maroon hits on the overlays, designed to look like the patina on the Crenshaw sign. And what I really love about those overlays are the material usages. It's actually crackled leather, and it looks really amazing in person. Over top of that, you've got a light blue tumble leather Nike swoosh and a semi-translucent blue outsole. Some of the notable detailing on the sneaker is a Crenshaw Skate Club logo embroidered into the heel as well as a Crenshaw sign also embroidered 
embroidered into the heel. Plus, printed underneath the outsole so that you can see it through the semi-translucent blue, you've got these daycare-inspired cartoons that were drawn by Toby himself. It's a dope collaboration, and I love the way that all the colors come together to create an understated but still unique-looking sneaker. Number 7. The Nike SB Dunk Low Noise Aqua so this is yet another Nike SB Dunk Low that is not a collaboration, but it's just as clean as a collaboration. In fact, this sneaker might be one of my personal favorites on the list. I tried not to order this list based on personal favorites and more on impact to the culture and I guess just overall wearability, but this shoe, man, ooh, I'd love to have this sneaker. Almost the entire upper of the shoe is made up of suede, which is not something we see a lot of on Nike SB Dunk Lows or even Dunk Lows for that matter. The base layer of the upper is made up of a light blue suede accented by orange overlays, which of course are also made of suede, and then you've got the aqua colored Nike swoosh again also made of suede and then all of this is rounded off by a very clean single color cream midsole and outsole now to my knowledge there's no story behind this colorway there probably is somewhere but I just can't find it and I just really like this shoe because it's such a unique usage of not only materials but colors and it comes together in a shoe that you don't see a lot of definitely a shoe worth picking up if you like these colors or you're looking for a pair of sneakers that comes in this color just be careful not to wear the shoe in the rain because suede does not do well in the rain number six the Nike SB Dunk Low Ramel Z so this shoe actually released in two different variations you had the low top version which is the one that we're talking about here and also the high top version and they were both pretty similar other than the cut and the height the low top version came with black accents and the high top version came with white accents and of course the low was low and the high was high and I'm sure the placement of some of the art prints were a little bit different but overall they were a very similar looking pair of collaborations so if you're not familiar with Ramel Z like I wasn't until literally after the shoe came out Ramel Z was a gothic futurist graffiti writer not only that he was a performance artist a hip-hop musician he was even a sculptor unfortunately this New York based artist passed away in 2010, but it's really great to see his art remembered on a pair of really awesome collaboration Nike SB Dunk Lows. The shoe features a printed canvas upper, of course, featuring Ramel Z's art, and then that is actually accented by a black suede overlay. Of course, because the shoe is a Supreme collaboration, you've got Supreme hits on the lace locks and also throughout the sneaker, and all around, it's a pretty clean looking collaboration. It's definitely loud and very unique, and if you love Ramel Z, it's a must grab, but for some of you out there, I can understand why you might not love this collaboration that much. All that being said, though, if you love Ramel Z, it's dope to be able to wear some of his art on your sneakers. Number five, the Nike SB Dunk Low Fly Streetwear. Fly Streetwear was created by Jeff Hans, known as the godfather of Chinese skateboarding. Jeff created a brick and mortar shop called Fly Streetwear back in 1999 in Shanghai, and since then the brand has blossomed. The concept behind this collaboration are the gardenia flowers sold by street vendors in Shanghai, and you can sort of see that inspiration on things like the Nike swoosh. The Nike swoosh is embroidered in white and designed to look like a bundle of gardenia flowers. In addition to that, the shoe comes in a gray leather upper accented by bright blue suede overlays. Another detail I love is the Chinese calligraphy found on the insoles. It's a super clean colorway with a lot of really cool hidden details that tie in very well with the story. And I know a lot of shoes on this list, in fact almost all the shoes on this list are Nike SBs, not just regular Nike Dunks, but the reason for that is because usually SBs get the most collaborations and collaborations are the shoes that usually have the best stories behind them. And in a lot of cases the designs of these collaborations are more well thought out because for the stores and the brands that work with Nike, this is their like one shot to create something awesome so they spend so much time creating the best thing that they possibly can. And when it comes to this Nike SB Dunk Low Fly Streetwear, I think Jeff knocked it out of the park. This shoe is absolutely incredible. Number four, the Nike SB Dunk Low Yuto Hirogame. Yuto Hirogame is not only one of the most well-known Japanese skateboarders of all time, but he's also the first Japanese skateboarder to bring home the gold. Yuto's sneaker collaboration pays homage to a beautiful park in Tokyo, Japan, and features some of the most beautiful materials used on a pair of Nike SB Dunk Lows this year. The upper of the shoe comes in white leather, accented by this beautiful medium gray buttery nubuck that feels amazing to the touch. In addition to that, you've also got an olive colored Nike swoosh and some pink hits on the heel. On the lateral side of the heel, you've got a feather emblem designed by Japanese artist Verdi, and then the designs printed on the insole of the sneaker are made up of little cherry blossoms. Not only is this shoe a great collaboration and also a collaboration with one of the greatest skateboarders out there, but it's also really beautifully executed. The colors are understated but incredibly clean, the materials are amazing, and the story behind this shoe it's perfect. I love this sneaker. One of the best sneakers to release all year. Number three, the Nike SB Dunk Low Jaritos. So this shoe is based on the wildly popular, naturally flavored soda brand started in Mexico City, Jaritos. I just learned this, but apparently the name Jaritos is from Mexican clay drinking drugs, also called Doritos. I also don't know if I'm butchering the name, so if I am, 
Please don't blame me in the comments. You probably already did. The upper of the shoe is made up of leather and canvas. And the reason canvas was used on the shoe is because apparently they used canvas bags to carry these vibrantly colored fruit to the factory. The main attraction on this shoe though is that you can cut off the canvas overlays on the upper to reveal some orange panels underneath. Of course, being a collaboration, the Aritas branding is found throughout the shoe, on the tongue, on the heel, even on the heel tab. And the colorway of the sneaker also matches the branding. My favorite part of the shoe actually is the outsole. It comes in green and orange. I think it's a nice touch. You don't really see much of it, but you get a little sliver of it on the side and I think it looks dope. Not only that, this has become one of the most popular and coveted releases of the year, Nike Dunk or otherwise. And I don't think it's just because of the design of this shoe. I think there's a lot of people out there who are nostalgic towards this brand, whether you found it at bodegas like I did when I lived in New York, or maybe you grew up with it. It's a brand that a lot of people know and love. And I mean, let's be honest, the shoe also looks pretty solid as well. So there's a lot going for this collab. Number two, the Nike SB Dunk Low Born and Raised. So Born and Raised was a brand founded back in 2013 by Chris Spanto Printup and Alex Two-Tone Erdman. And unfortunately this year, Chris tragically passed away, which has been a huge loss for the streetwear and sneaker community. May Chris rest in peace. He had a lot more to show us, but unfortunately he was not able to. Chris was quickly becoming one of the most influential names in fashion. So it's an absolutely devastating loss. Originally these Born and Raised Nike SB Dunk Lows were supposed to release a few months back, but because of Chris's passing, they decided to postpone the release and they just released this shoe at the end of September. Now I've got to say that the sneaker itself is absolutely gorgeous. They did an incredible job in this collaboration. The shoe is inspired by and embodies LA street culture. It features a white leather upper accented by really nice embellished perforations on the toe. In addition to that, the shoe is accented by deep blue nubuck overlays, as well as some beautiful embroidery on the heel of the shoe and also a puffed out lenticular Nike swoosh and heel tag. Some of my favorite details of the shoe are the words one block at a time embroidered into the toe of the sneaker on the mud guard, which we don't see a lot. You've also got the born and raised Nike SB branding on the tongue tag. And then on the heel of the shoe, right towards the bottom of the sneaker, you've got on the turf. Plus you can't forget the semi-translucent outsole with the born printed underneath the outsole. It looks amazing. I love the pink hits. And the quality of the materials used on this shoe seems significantly better than most other pairs of Nike Dunks. The leather, at least used on the midfoot panel of the shoe, feels a little bit thicker, a little bit more premium. I don't know if it actually is, but it feels that way. The sock liner of the shoe comes in leather. The new buck feels very premium. And of course you've got all the embroidered hits like on the toe and on the heel. It's just such a solid sneaker. I think it's one of the best collaborations of the year. And the final detail that was added to the shoe are the laces that feature the words in loving memory printed towards the aglets. Unfortunately, the release of this incredible sneaker has been marred with tragedy, but it's still genuinely one of the best collaborations out there. And it's definitely something worth checking out if you're willing to spend the money on resale. Number one, the Off-White Futura Nike Dunk Low. This is a sneaker collaboration that has been rumored for years. We've seen images of these samples for years, but we just never knew when a release was gonna happen. And unfortunately, Virgil Abloh passed away before there was supposed to be a wide release for these sneakers, and so it seems like only samples were ever made. And because of that, these samples were auctioned off in extremely limited quantities through Sotheby's, and the proceeds of those auctions, at least partially, were donated to charity. The shoes came in two different colorways, both based on pairs from the Be True to Your School pack. You had the UNC pair, which came in white, blue, and orange, and of course, the Syracuse pair, which came in orange, blue, and white. And honestly, both of these pairs look incredible, and I'm not just saying that because they're worth like $18,000 and I'd just love to have a pair. I'm saying that because they're a different take on a shoe that we're very familiar with. Not only do they feature the off-white branding hits like the double lacing that sort of weaves through the upper of the shoe, but they also feature some really interesting color hits. Like for example, on the Syracuse pair, you've got this blue tie-dyeing or splotching effect, which really gives the shoe a completely different look than a standard Syracuse pair. And then on the UNC pair, you've got a similar effect. However, on this pair, it's not as dramatic as on the Syracuse pair. In addition to the off-white details, you've also got the Futura hits on the heels of both of these sneakers and honestly, these might be some of the best off-white sneakers to ever release. According to Shannon Abloh, Virgil Abloh was incredibly excited about this release because of the fact that it symbolized the two most important things to him when it came to art, and that's creativity and collaboration. And again, unfortunately, he wasn't able to see a widespread release of these shoes, but it's really nice that they were able to release some of the samples and uh, help out a charity in the name of Virgil Abloh, which I think is a pretty incredible way to honor his legacy. And in my opinion, these shoes absolutely have the potential to become one of the most iconic collaborations of all time. But that pretty much wraps things up for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts on this list and whether you agree with it or whether you don't. So let me know in the comment section down below. Again, if you want a chance to win one of these two pairs of born and raised Nike SB Dunk Lows for yourself, make sure to check out my upcoming Whatnot live stream linked in the top of the description below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.